another question I had is like, um, so another, like I'm a producer too. And another artist that I like give beats to all the time and we just work like that. He wants to start giving me splits because he just got signed by, uh, you know, a manager that has some clout and stuff like that. And I don't really know how to negotiate those kind of deals. Like my background, like, I work for an RIA, so I know how to do like investments and recontracts and shit like that. And I've been throwing shows around here for a long time. So, um, like, I understand the booking side of it. And then, you know, artists will hit me up, and I finally decided that I wanted to manage someone. And it's like the side of things I don't understand is like master. You know, is master the copyright or is master the publishing? The master, the master is the master recording, like, um, you know, the person who has the hard drives, Yeah. the session, the actual session file, the original session file with all the stems and all the audio files, um, you know, masters used to be these big ass tapes Yeah. When, they, when it was beta, when it wasn't digital, but now, you know, the masters could just be saving it on a hard drive or on external, but that's what the actual master is. Who has the original session file, the master file, and um, no. how do you how do you when people say they'll give you like portion of the master? What does that mean? If it's just like a session file, ownership in the masters, the masters uh, ownership of the copyright, ownership in the okay. original. Yeah, like you, I'm giving you a percentage of the masters. Um, this this um. Like, is it like song register, like where you do like your copyright? Would you like code someone in on that portion of it? Is that how you get in on the master then? And what was the question? To like get portion of the master, would someone have to like write you in on the copyright then? Yeah, like once once you um once you're in the studio and you're recording a song, you're making you're creating a song. You and you're part of that creation of the song. You're automatically part copyright owner. Now, the person who owns the masters may be the person whose studio that you're recording at. Now, you own the publishing and the copyright to that song, but that might have been Joe's computer or your or Tommy's studio, and he may have a million dollar studio, and he's like, "Yeah, well, I'm letting you record. Like, you could you could pay me." And then you take your masters home, or if I'm letting you use the studio for free, I may just keep ownership of the masters. I may say, hey, record a master right. for free. I know I got those master tapes. You're gonna have to come back when it's time. If the song blows up, the label they're gonna want those the master recordings. So mm -hmm. he who owns the masters is it, power in that. And usually when you do a record deal, they like a major record deal, they put you in the studios. And then and they record the music, and they they own the masters. The label owns the masters, and that's why you hear like, "Oh, Jay Z, he was got his masters back." That means he owns his master recordings, and the one who owns the master recordings, you could you can exploit it. It's it's it's, it's another form of um, exploitation. It's 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 money in the masters. There's there's money in owning the masters. There's a there's, that's that's a, that's a whole different ownership. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? I have the masters, you know, I got the, I got it right here. You can't do it. You really, you can't alter it. You can't remix it. I have the masters, you know what I mean? So it's power in that. Yeah. Cause I work at a studio called, uh, and it's one of Prince's old studios. So we get like a lot of big artists coming in there, but usually everyone brings their hard drive. So is that why they do that? And cause I always put my beats on my hard drive. So then I would own my masters and the sessions that I do and stuff like that. Yeah, that's just that's what owning your masters means. You you have the session files, um, you know, you own that. You know. Okay. Okay. Because it's always just like a weird talk. Everyone says own your master, but like I was just. Was that really? the master. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's really it really doesn't come into play until you start getting those checks for the masters. It, right. It's like that, and you start seeing. Oh shit! The masters is worth a hundred thousand a year. I need to own my masters. It's like a lot of it time is irrelevant until you get a hit. Until you get a hit, yeah. So that's why a lot of people it's thrown around, and people are like, "What does that mean?" Publishing is thrown around. What does that really mean? 
publishing. Uh, okay, you own uh, publishing. What does that mean? Right, 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 right. It means nothing until you get a hit. You know, it, you know, at least you have or something that has a little momentum. Like, um, it could be shit. You doing ten thousand, twenty thousand streams a day? That's gonna right. add up. That's that's income. You know, it's gonna add up. So, yeah, I mean, it's different levels of a hit, but you know, 